Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear friends, Christmas is coming and the whole atmosphere is beginning to be filled with joy and celebration. <coughs> As we celebrate this Eucharist on the first Sunday of Advent, let us prepare ourselves by calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord forgiveness. <coughs> I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have, have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in, in my words, words in, in what, what I have, I have done, done and, and in what, what I have failed to do, to do through, my through my fault, fault through, my through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, Mary ever virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be lifted up above the hills and all the nations shall flow to it and many peoples shall come and say come let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and shall decide disputes for many peoples. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. O house of Jacob, 
come let us walk in the light of the lord the word of the lord thanks be to god we shall go rejoicing to the house of the lord we, we shall, shall go rejoicing to the house of, of the, the lord. lord i rejoiced when they said to me let us go to the house of the lord and now our feet are standing within your gates o jerusalem we, we shall go rejoicing to the, to the house of, of the lord. lord it is there that the tribes go up the tribes of the lord for israel's witness it is to praise the name of the lord there were set the thrones for judgment the thrones of the house of david we, we shall, shall go rejoicing to the, to the house, house of, of the, the lord. lord for the peace of jerusalem pray may they prosper those who love you may peace abide in your walls and security be in your towers we, we shall, shall go rejoicing to the house of the, of the lord. lord for the sake of my family and friends let me say peace upon you for the sake of the house of the lord our god i will seek good things for you we, we shall go rejoicing to the house of the lord a reading from the letter of saint paul to the romans brethren besides this you know the time that the hour has come for you to wake from sleep for salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed the night is far gone the day is at hand so then let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light let us walk properly as in the daytime not in orgies and drunkenness not in sexual immorality and sensuality not in quarreling and jealousy but put on the lord jesus christ and make no provision for the flesh the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to god, to god. Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to Matthew glory, glory to, to you o lord. lord at that time jesus said to his disciples as were the days of noah so will be the coming of the son of man for in those days before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day when Noah entered the ark. And they were on a way until the flood came and swept them all away. So will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two men will be in the field. 
One will be taken and one left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and one left. Therefore stay awake. For you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at the hour you do not expect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear friends, I think all of us have experienced certain moments in our life when we have regretted what we have done. For instance, a student will say, Oh, if I had only studied harder. I would have got that 90%, but I wasted some time during the last month. Or a person seeking a job will say, oh, if I had answered the, the question correctly, I may have got the job. But I was not ready for that question, so I could not answer. Or someone will say, oh, if only I had taken care of my health. I neglected my health during the past one year. And because I neglected my health, I am suffering now. I think all of us have experienced these moments in various ways, where in a way we regret because we have not done something which we could have done. And that's the theme of today's readings. The Gospel tells us, be awake, because you may miss the opportunity. Be ready, because if you are not ready, you will have, you will have experienced failures. The Gospel gives us an example of Noah. You know, Noah had an intuition that uh, the floods would come and uh, people would get drowned. So he started preparing an ark. And all his companions started laughing at him. Uh, Noah is preparing an ark. For what? Why? And the floods came. And Noah went into the ark with some of the animals and other people. And Noah was saved. Now, Noah was awake. Noah was ready. And that is why he was saved. Advent is a time to be ready, to be awake. Otherwise, the opportunities will pass. There was a man who uh, went uh, visiting the the farm and uh, the jungle, the forest. And uh, a guide was taking him around and he said, see this tree is dried and there's no water. And because there's no water, this tree is dying. And so this man and the guide walked further and the guide took him to his own farm. And in spite of not having any water, the tree was alive. The tree was growing. And uh, this man asked the guide, what's the secret? Why is the tree growing? So he said, when this tree was young, for certain days I did not give it water. And so it was used to not having water. And the roots went very deep. And so when there's no water, the tree is still alive. Because at the young age, when it was a small plant, it experienced hardships. 
and because it experienced hardships when it was young as a young plant even now when there is no water for some days the tree is still strong my dear friends advent is a time to prepare ourselves to be awake not to miss the opportunities and therefore as the second reading tells us what should we do during the season of advent it tells us put on the armor of christ in other words try to be a little more like christ try and follow his teachings try and be like him in small ways maybe in reaching out to others in forgiving others in um, in praying be like jesus and in these small ways we can prepare ourselves for christmas otherwise the four weeks of advent will pass and at the end we will say ah if only i had done something during the season of advent i could have been i could have celebrated christmas in a more meaningful way so i pray for all of you that during the season of advent we may be awake we may be ready so that we can really welcome jesus on christmas day let us profess our christian faith i believe, I believe in, in god, god the, the father, father almighty, almighty creator, creator of heaven, heaven and earth and in, and in jesus, jesus christ, christ his only son our lord who was, was conceived by the holy spirit, spirit born of the, of the virgin mary, mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died, died and was buried he descended into, into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen advent is a time to prepare ourselves for the coming of christ on this first sunday of advent the church reminds us of the need to be ready and receive him our readiness to receive him would mean that each day of our life we live a life worthy of our call as christians our response lord prepare us for your coming lord prepare us for your coming we pray for our holy father pope francis bishops priests and religious that as leaders in the church they may help us to prepare ourselves for christ's coming in a worthy way and be channels of god's grace each day for this let us pray to the lord lord, lord prepare, prepare us for, for your coming. coming we pray for all the nations where there is war poverty and human suffering especially russia ukraine egypt iraq and pakistan that their troubles may soon be a distant memory for them for this let us pray to the lord lord, lord prepare, prepare us for, for your coming. coming for those who suffer from anxiety for all who are sick in body and mind that they may know the lord's healing power let us pray to the lord lord, lord prepare, prepare us for, for your, your coming. coming we pray that during the season of advent we focus our attention on our spiritual preparation for christ's coming and be ready to welcome him with a purified hearts let us pray to the lord lord, lord prepare, prepare us for, for your coming. coming we pray for our personal community and local needs let us pray to the lord lord, lord prepare, prepare us for your coming incline your merciful ear to our prayers we ask o lord and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Except we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfill the design you formed long ago, and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made perfect, we who watch for that day, pray, may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of, of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your faithful love and profess your resurrection until. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, and with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis our Pope, and Oswald our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <clears throat> through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father, Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, heaven Hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, thy will be, done be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith, in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with his blessings. Amen. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a nice Sunday. Same to you, Bishop. Like a sea without a shore, love divine is boundless. Time is now and nevermore, and his love surrounds us. More Jesus come